Well, the book was always going to be called I'll Never Get Out of This World Alive. I mean, I had the title from the minute that I decided what the book was going to be about. And this record, I had a hard time naming for the first, maybe the first time in my career. Most records I've made, I knew what they were going to be called before I finished recording them. As often as not before I started recording them. Um, this one I never did. I guess I didn't... You know, I, I knew I, I knew I wanted to write the best songs I could possibly write. I knew I wanted to make a record with T-Bone Burnett, and to me, that's really basically all this record began to be about. As it turned out, a lot of stuff was going on. I was working on the book during the entire time that these songs were being written, and I lost my father. And my dad um, was pretty ill the last few years of his life, and. You know, there, it had a pretty profound effect on my family, you know, my, my father, you know, like leaving this world in the process of him doing that. And it was tough and it was, um, you know, and now looking back at it, I don't see how it wouldn't have affected, you know, what I was writing. It probably affected the book to some degree. and. You know, I get to the end of it and I finished recording the record and I still thought I didn't know what it was about when I got it all together and sequenced it. I, I, oh, this record's about the same things that the book's about. The characters in the book are characters related to Hank Williams and heroin and Roe versus Wade, but what the book's about, and, you know, where it comes from inside of me. It's about mortality, and so says this record. Well, it's a Hank Williams song. It was recorded, it was the last session that he did. It was released shortly before his death. And I mean, like a couple of weeks before his death, and then it reached number one posthumously because uh, it was already out there and it sort of couldn't miss at that point. It's always been a song that uh, that I uh, I like to sing, and um, I pretty much decided that I was going to record it. I didn't know how we would release it or you know what it would be a part of, what it wouldn't, and. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it. We copied the Hank Williams arrangement pretty much note for note. It's in a lower key, but all the solos and everything fall into the same place. It's the same instru instrumentation except that it has drums, which Hank's you know version of it didn't. And um, um, I'm really, really, really proud of it. <laughs> 